channel thank you so much for being here and watching today's video how are you guys all doing i hope you're well wherever you are in the world and whatever you're up to and i really hope you're having a lovely month in today's video i wanted to sit down and do a zara and abercrombie and fitch spring and summer video with some really beautiful like spring summer pieces florals and ways i'm styling them over the next coming months and things like that so i'm gonna jump straight in and start with zara first off this really cute pattern patterned abstract skirt which if you follow me over on Instagram you may have already seen me style a few different ways but I love this skirt last year it must have been I featured on my Instagram one of like a very very similar skirt to this but they're green and black kind of abstract skirt and I ended up giving that skirt away <laughs> and really regretting it because I wore it a lot but then my friend really liked it so I was like oh it's fine you have it I've got enough and then I saw this come out and I realized like how much I wear skirts like this that have that fun bold print that then you can style loads of different ways whether it's with neutrals or like kind of tying in the colors of it and styling with more like bold blazers and prints as well and I just love this outfit like I love this I feel like it really kind of is a me kind of outfit and scream spring really lovely little skirt to kind of dress up and down and this is just one of the ways that I'd style for like more everyday styling and things like that but I love the shape of it I love the like details and the pattern and I would actually say with this if you're in between sizes to size down I feel like Zara can be so hit and miss with sizes which I always say in these videos but with their skirts especially, I always really, really struggle with sizing. And sometimes I'll like get a gem and it'll be like true to size, amazing, but no, still, still not true to size. So I would suggest sizing down if you're in between sizes. But yeah, that's look number one. For look number two, I'm styling this really cute little pink satin wrap skirt. I think this comes in an orange and potentially also like a cream neutral colour one as well. And I've just started here with the Zara corset that I featured in my previous video. But I'm actually not sure if I like the two together now that I'm watching the clips back. I'm a little bit like, do they? Does this work? I'm not sure. But yeah, I feel like the skirt and the top separately can be styled so many different ways, like with jeans and little cami tops and things like that. But just showing you the skirt mainly here as a very, very cute little like wrap skirt that I feel like will go really nicely in like spring and summer with trainers, dressed up with espadrilles if you wanted to do do like a wedding guest outfit where you wore like a really nice kind of sheer champagne or like gold or even just like a nice neutral colored blouse and like tuck this in with that you could really go for like a little satin number with a blazer layered over and things like that or just like a little plain cami top but I just thought this was very, very cute and perfect for going on holiday as well if you wanted to wear like a little bikini and a little wrap skirt and dress it up in the evening with like little wraparound sandals and that kind of thing as well. Next up, a very comfy set and can you guess that I am loving pink right now because a lot of these pieces are gonna be pink, which sorry in advance if you don't like the color pink and you don't really like color in your wardrobe, but hopefully in some way you might watch this and be like, actually, I'm gonna add a bit of color into my wardrobe or maybe you love pink as much as me, which is great. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of the pieces moving on through the video, they actually do in lots of different colors, including this one, they do this in a green as well. And just got this actually just for editing indoors in spring and summer and just hanging out in. Not really sure if I wear it out like this. I'm kind of, like, I see people wear stuff like this out and I'm like, really want the confidence to wear shorts this short out but I just don't know if I can do it I just I'm not sure if it's too short <laughs> I'm not sure yet but I do literally lounge around in this 24 7 when I'm working from home and it's so comfortable such a comfy little set I was just getting so hot at home working out in tracksuits working out working in track suits like on my laptop and i just needed a pair of really comfy stretchy shorts so ordered these mainly for that and of course they just happen to be pink <laughs> next up a little bit of the opposite end <laughs> in terms of clothing from the comfies and going for this very very dressy beautiful satin blue dress this has like a corset front detail to it which i thought was really really lovely and flattering on and actually ordered this to try for a future wedding that i have coming up in like the end of July time, so for summer. And I always kind of go for satin dresses when I'm a wedding guest. I don't know why I did the same for my graduation, which I've spoken about before, but I find 
find their like some of the most flattering dresses that are really easy to style for all seasons when it comes to special occasions and I don't like to just get that one dress that is only going to work for I don't know one occasion and one season so I always feel like a satin one goes really nicely in the winter months as well as the spring and summer months this one was giving me full Daphne from Bridgerton vibes like it really was I feel like the modern version of what she'd probably wear even though her dress was incredible in the first season and the blue that she had but I just felt like it was giving me those vibes and I don't fully know if it suits me <laughs> I have to be honest I'm putting it in here because I need advice on it and as always I'm so indecisive and I just I'm not 100% sure but I do think it is a stunning piece like it does fit really nicely and sometimes I find with Zara it can be quite hit and miss with the way that their dresses fit on and the kind of fabric and the way that they've been made so I feel like this has been done really really nicely and I do think it is beautiful but I just don't know if the like corset detail is flattering on or not so I'd love to know <laughs> if you have any thoughts on the dress and that kind of thing and then next up possibly like one of the my favorite outfits basically but a little bit gutted about the corset which I will get into but the jeans I literally am obsessed with I love like a pale pink and I love the straight leg jeans and their mum jeans at the moment I recently got some blue straight leg jeans from Zara and I have been living in them which if you follow me on Instagram you will see literally me living in them basically because they're so comfortable but these ones are their mum fit jeans and I love the raw hem detail they come in like eight different colorways and they're just really comfortable true to size really good thick like denim so I feel like they're gonna last me a while which is good but yeah I mainly just love the shape and the fit of these I think they're really flattering on and like perfect for spring and summer just styled lots of different ways with lots of neutrals and lots of florals and things like that and then this corset like instantly as I saw it I was like I'm obsessed with this ditzy print I love the detail to it love the shape and yeah I think it's beautiful but I will mention, which you can probably see in like little clips here where I kind of turn to the side. This is the extra small that I went for. And I find with the corsets on Zara, I get really like confused on what sizing to go for unless I'm going in and trying them on in person because they're very hit and miss with like the bust sizing I find. And this one was the extra small. And I went, so I went for like true to size with this. And I just, not sure if my boobs are gonna come out. Like I just don't know if it's too gapy at the front. I'm just not 100% sure, which I was kind of gutted about because I think it is beautiful. So currently trying to get that taken in. So if you do t end up seeing it over my Instagram, it means I've kept it and I got it somehow taken in in some way because I feel like because you've got the class at the front, I was hoping that I could get it taken in at the side slightly just because I feel like I'm going to get quite a lot of wear out of this with like skirts and shorts and things like that moving into spring and summer and then with like suits dressed down as well I just think like really nice tops like this look so cool with tailoring and things like that so yeah potentially fingers crossed by the time this video is live I've sorted that out but I did want to mention just in case and you're able to kind of go in between sizes if you are in between sizes and that kind of thing I thought I would mention it and then this beautiful abstract black dress with this back detail, which originally I was kind of gravitating towards for future trips and holidays and having like the perfect little kind of black dress that had a bit more something something to it that I could style with just slip on like sandals, which I tend to kind of always do when I'm on holiday. I just don't really go for like hills or wrap around kind of hilled shoes. I always want to be comfortable, but I want to wear something quite cute. So I thought this would be perfect for that as it's like a linen blend cotton. So quite cool on but then I loved the back detailing and it does have a dress a, adjustable adjustable <laughs> don't know how I was saying that then it does have adjustable straps which I love with any kind of piece of clothing if they've got that and they've got the straps that you can kind of like play around with because I always find that my torso is quite short so I struggle <laughs> With that kind of thing but I just thought it was super cute so styling with converse more for every day and then if I wanted to dress up I could I actually did style this which if I can get a photo I'll leave it on the screen here with some orange heels and a bag for a girls night that I had last week and super super fun and loved wearing the heels of it and an oversized like fake leather blazer which actually is over on my TikTok as well if you fancy seeing it styled up for date nights and girls nights and things like that but just thought it was really, really cute. And then for the last two for Zara, I popped in to do a little return and ended up 
just finding these two knits and I just thought they were adorable and so cute and I've got a thing for like floral knits and just wearing them with jeans in spring and summer because I feel like especially being in Brighton although it'll be warm it will be so windy which if you can hear that banging <laughs> I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick that up but the wind is just knocking my windows and there's a tree outside and it just keeps banging because <laughs> it's so windy today so although it's like 18 or 17 when we've had warm days it's never really warm enough to go out just in like a little tea but I always find if I have little knits and jeans then I can just go out in my little knit which I'm all here for so this first one I thought was really really cute with this back detail instantly like drawn in to a cute top that has a bit more something something to it and I actually am wearing size medium in this they only had medium left and a large left in store so instantly it was like I just want it I want to take it home I want to try it on so I just thought I'd mention that as well that I have basically sized up in terms of sizing with this one but a lot of you when I shared it over on Instagram were asking if you've come from over there <laughs> were asking about was I wearing a bra like what kind of bra was I wearing with it but I'm not actually wearing a bra with this and I actually felt quite comfortable in not doing so which sometimes I don't in backless pieces whether it's dresses or tops and things like that and I feel like you could wear one of those like front stick on bras so that you just don't have any straps or you could do like a clear strap or something like that if you do tend to want to wear bras with a lot of your pieces then I feel like that would work as well but just very very cute little knit and then for the second one I thought this one was adorable as well again you don't have that back detail with this one so you can wear a bra and I just felt like the pink detail was very very cute it started with like blue jeans or even started with like pink jeans the ones that I shared and things like that just for like little cute everyday spring knit and then would be quite cute probably with denim shorts moving into the summer months as well and then moving on to Abercrombie and Fitch really excitingly I have probably found the nicest pieces that I think I've ever tried on I basically didn't I haven't shopped an Abercrombie and Fitch in a very very long time and I'm always kind of like umming and ahhing whether to go on there because everything that I seem to like is always like sold out or like out of stock and things like that so I never really do it and I saw on Sophie who I follow over on Instagram she's so lovely Sophie Milner she was posting one of the dresses which you'll see is the last one and she was just saying how perfect it is that on the website they do a range of doing tall regular and petite lengths in some of their pieces and I didn't know that and I was like really want to go and check that out then because I really struggle with certain style of like dresses and shorts when being five foot three there's like no middle ground with length and I sometimes feel like things like that can swamp me or be a bit too long so was quite like up for kind of going on and having a look and then she shared this dress and I was like this dress is unreal I need to go have a look and I ended up in a hole of ordering all the things I'm about to share and <laughs> I literally love it all so much so yeah the last dress is the one that she was talking about which you'll see at the end but first off how cute is the design of this and the pattern of this I think it is so sweet it's this really lovely little kind of like smock dress style with pastel details I love like the oranges the pinks and a bit of sage that you've got in there I'm actually going to style it next week I've got like a little bottomless brunch so I'm going to style it with a sage blazer and some little espadrilles but I just thought this was adorable and the quality of their pieces is next level like they've got zips they've got clasps on everything it feels very premium and I just yeah very very impressed by these pieces and when I was trying them on I was actually like quickly I need to film this because I need to share it with you guys <laughs> because obsessed but anyway loved the shape of this fits true to size went for the petite in this one because they had the option of doing so so sometimes with smock dresses I feel like they can be a little bit too long on me so for reference I'm five foot three and I think this works quite nicely with the petite one and this but then in two other smock dresses which you'll see I got in the regular because they didn't have the option but I like the fact that they do have the option so if you are needing like a tall length or a petite or a regular then you can kind of have a little filter through on their website and it's quite easy to kind of navigate just to look at those pieces which is quite nice as well. And then this is like a very, very similar smock star dress. So this is in the regular length and I feel like this works really nicely as well. This one has like an elasticated back detail to it. So it's really comfortable, really stretchy, has bigger puff sleeves than the last one and a bit more of that like ruche detailing at the front, but instantly drawn in by the color of this, of course. <laughs> surprise, surprise, anything pink. And I didn't realize this until I got it, but there's pockets. <laughs> 
Like, honestly, is it just me that a dress with pockets is literally like finding gold? It makes me so excited. I always find that sometimes if I'm wearing a dress like this for special occasions, whether it's like wedding guests, baby shower, brunches, and you've got like a little clutch or you kind of don't even want to take a bag, just having something to do with your hands or just having pockets is quite nice. I don't know what it is. Let me know if I'm not alone in that because <laughs> otherwise maybe that's just something weird that I really like for my dresses but literally so pleasantly surprised by that and I feel like it's such a gorgeous shape and fit and gonna be wearing this endlessly like any opportunity when it gets into summer trainers high top converse dressed up with espadrilles heels anything like that like can someone just invite me to something that i can get dressed up in this as well because i think it's just beautiful so that was that one and they also do this in seven different colorways as well so there's like lots to choose from i think they do cream brown black and um, they do some like ditzy print styles of a lot of their pieces and i found it quite nice that online when you go on a piece that you like you can kind of scroll to the bottom and it gives examples of similar shapes in different designs or like just similar styles as well which is why i ended up buying quite a few different smock dresses <laughs> Next up are this beautiful blue midi dress and this is like a very very similar kind of ruched detailing to the front of this as the last dress but in like this maxi kind of midi style and this was one that I was also trying for the wedding that I have coming up as you can see I'm kind of going for blue for this upcoming <laughs> wedding but I just thought this would be really really lovely for that as an option as well really comfortable you've got this kind of elasticated is it like gel that they put on sometimes when you're wearing a like band or boob tube kind of styled top or dress which is quite good because you're very kind of held in but it also comes with straps that you can add you can adjust them different ways so you can kind of have them as just two straps you can have it as a halter neck you can have them as like crossed at the back it literally there are endless ways that you can style it which I thought was great because then you've kind of got one dress that you can style multiple different ways so I think if I was styling this for every day I'd add the straps and then just wear chunky white trainers but thought it was beautiful love the color of it and yeah really love the shape and feel very very premium again and this one also comes in like four or five different colors next up this little top and short combo that I'm wearing the shorts are this really beautiful linen blend material and I like that they're a little bit longer because it kind of gives you the option to have them as that piece that you can dress up with espadrilles or heels and they're like very very subtly tailored so I feel like it's quite easy to take these into like special occasions and things like that but then also dressing down with like chunky trainers dad sandals slip-on sandals anything like that I feel like is really nice to style that way too but they're so comfortable and so soft on like stunning fit true to size and then I've just started with this little top which I will say I am keeping it which is why I'm wearing, why I'm wearing it but I do want to mention I found that the, this kind of neck strap which is probably partly just the way my body shape is is a little bit loose if I have a bra on and I have it a little bit higher here I don't know if you can see it kind of like gapes a bit unless I have it more as like a boob tube kind of top, which is probably how it's meant to be. It's meant to probably sit quite low because I think that's probably how it's meant to sit. But at first I was like, is this right? <laughs> I'm not sure. But I think this top was super cute, like ditzy print detailing, very, very lovely florals and actually comes with a matching pair of shorts and a skirt. And I think there was like a little jacket as well with this in the same print. So they kind of had a few different ones floating around the site and I did want the matching shorts but they didn't have my size so I thought the pink would be like lovely with them as well to kind of pick up on the little ditzy print flowers and that kind of thing and then lastly this beautiful beautiful dress this is the one that Sophie was sharing over on her Instagram and I was like that is something else so ordered it and I'm obsessed again it has pockets like what <laughs> I literally love a dress of pockets and I love the back detail you've got like tie top bit you've got the elasticated band and I just feel like this is the comfiest and I've saved the best till last because the shape of this is just beautiful and fits true to size and considering like when you've got back details like this I feel like you can't always wear a bra you kind of have which hopefully when I've kind of walked closer to the camera you can kind of see but you kind of have a tighter bit of fabric here so this bit's kind of ruched and so's under where like your boobs would be and it makes you feel so held in like I didn't feel uncomfortable I felt like I was kind of wearing a bra on the front anyway which was I can't really explain it it was like the fabric was like very very tight and kind of holds you in so I love that detail of it because 
again, like I said, sometimes I feel a bit weird not wearing a bra and I wanna be kind of supported when I'm wearing those pieces as well at the same time. So I feel like this does that and I love the puff sleeves, love the color. I feel like it's quite different for me to go for something a little bit more neutral and this kind of tone, but I just felt like with trainers and with like my neutral cream dad sandals, things like that, it would be really nice to style it like that, but then also dressed up with like cream heels as well. But so stunning and again comes in like eight different colorways so i feel like there's endless dresses and things like that to choose from but i will leave everything linked down below and i'll try and do like references to my sizing and that kind of thing but if you have any questions then feel free to leave a comment or send me a dm over on instagram and that kind of thing as well but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope in some way there was like little bits of inspo for pieces that you might already have in your own wardrobe or if you needed any more like little bits and bobs moving into spring and summer that you were kind of after then yeah hopefully there was a little bit of inspo in there for that as well but I will see you guys in the next few videos I think I'm well I'm <laughs> I've got a little bit of a hectic month in May and I've got all my secret project stuff starting so finally I'll be able to share a lot more of you guys which I feel like this has been two years in the making to actually finally tell you what I've been doing and why I've been on and off at different times online so finally soon I'll be able to share it with you all but if I'm like on and off with posting on YouTube for the next month then that's why but I will try my best to just keep up with styling stuff and things like that so do leave a comment if you are looking for like anything in particular you want me to style I am going to do a cream blazer and a pair of cream jeans for my next video so if there's any others that you want me to add to it, whether it's like a white tee or blue jeans and things like that, then please, please, please let me know. And yeah, I'd love to get around to styling it for you guys. But yeah, wishing you guys a lovely rest of your month and I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.